creator in history. This video introduces Darian Kawabata's the history biography and life works. Yasunari Kawabata 1899-1972 was a renowned Japanese writer and novelist. He is considered one of the most distinguished authors in Japanese literature and was the first Japanese writer to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1968. Kawabata's works often explore themes of beauty, loneliness, love, and the transient nature of life. Here is a brief overview of Yasunari. Kawabata's life and career. Early life. Yasunari Kawabata was born on June 14, 1899, in Osaka, Japan. At the age of two, he was adopted by his maternal grandparents and moved to the small town of Kamakura, near Tokyo, where he spent most of his childhood. Kawabata's grandparents owned a traditional Japanese in Ryokan, which influenced his later writing and provided him with a deep appreciation for Japanese culture. Education and Literary Career Kawabata studied literature at Tokyo Imperial University now the University of Tokyo and became involved with a group of young writers and intellectuals known as the Shinkinkaka New Sensationalists. In 1924, his first short story, The Dancing Girl of Izu, was published in a literary magazine, bringing him critical acclaim and recognition as a promising young writer. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Kawabata continued to write and publish both fiction and literary criticism. In 1937, he co-founded the literary magazine Bungai Jedi, The Artistic Age, which became an important platform for modernist literature in Japan. Major Works Kawabata's most famous novel is Snow Country 1948, which depicts the melancholic love affair between a Tokyo dilettante and a geisha in a remote, hot spring village. Another notable work is The Sound of the Mountain 1954. A poignant portrayal of an elderly man's contemplation of life, family, and the loss of loved ones. Thousand Cranes 1952 explores the intricacies of human relationships through the tale of a young man torn between three women. Beauty and Sadness 1964 is a novel that delves into the themes of love, betrayal, and the intertwining of beauty and sorrow. Kawabata's works often display a delicate and poetic writing style, incorporating elements of traditional Japanese aesthetics. Writing Style and Themes Kawabata's writing style is often characterized by its lyrical prose, evocative imagery, and attention to sensory details. He frequently explored themes such as the transience of beauty and life, the complexities of human relationships, and the juxtaposition of Tradition and Modernity in Japanese Society Nature and its symbolism played a significant role in his works, with many of his stories set in picturesque natural landscapes. Involvement in Literary Movements Kawabata was associated with several literary movements in Japan during his career. He was part of the Shinkinkaka, or New Sensationalists, a group of writers and intellectuals who sought to break away from traditional literary forms and embrace modernist techniques. Kawabata also had connections to the Shirakaba, White Birch Literary Group, which included influential writers such as Genichiro Tanizaki and Nanashiga. Editorial and Literary Contributions Alongside his writing, Kawabata was actively involved in the literary world as an editor and critic. He served as the editor-in-chief of Bungai Jedi magazine, which provided a platform for modernist literature and artistic expression. Kawabata also edited and contributed to anthologies, helping to promote and showcase the works of emerging writers. International Recognition and Legacy The Nobel Prize in Literature brought international acclaim to Kawabata's works and introduced a broader audience to Japanese literature. His novels and short stories have been 
translated into numerous languages and continue to be read and studied worldwide. Kawabata's influence on subsequent generations of Japanese writers is profound, and he is often regarded as one of the masters of modern Japanese literature. Many of his works have been adapted into films, stage plays, and other artistic forms, further solidifying his cultural impact. Later Life and Recognition In 1968, Kawabata was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature, making him the first Japanese author to receive this prestigious honor. Despite his success, Kawabata struggled with personal and emotional turmoil throughout his life. He experienced the loss of several close friends and suffered from depression. On April 16, 1972, Yasunara Kawabata tragically took his own life. His death shocked the literary world and left a lasting impact on Japanese literature. Yasunari Kawabata's literary contributions continue to be celebrated and studied today. His works are known for their poetic sensibility, exploration of human emotions, and profound insights into the complexities of life. Thank you so much for watching my video. Do you like this type of videos? Join comment section.